A reward on the road. Chivalry. Thavonia's blade work fundamentals. <sighs> so much to learn before the exam. How will I ever get through everything? Oh! Honorary knight! Long time no see! Anything you need me to take care of? Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. It has been quite a while since we last met, hasn't it? I've been busy preparing for my exam. Other than for work and training, I've barely left the library. The exam is drawing nearer and nearer, but there just seems to be an endless amount of material to review. <sighs> right. The Knights of Avonia Selection Exam. Oh. Even though I've already worked for the Knights as a maid for some time, I still need to pass this exam to officially become a Knight. It's just that I've failed several times in the past. I still don't know if I can make it this time. No, no, thank you. I could take care of myself. I hope. This is my exam, and I'm taking it to fulfill my dream. Any obstacles I face are mine to overcome. Plus, there is still some time to go before the exam arrives. Well, you're the honorary knight of Mondstadt. It won't do for me to take up so much of your time. But, on the day of the exam, if... If you happen to be free... Um, based on the night's schedule, I think it should be... half a year from now. But it's just half a year! Don't you think that's quite soon? Even though there is still some time, if I don't make good use of it, it will disappear. I've planned my schedule carefully. If I sleep two hours less each day and finish my work one hour earlier, then as long as I spend all the time I save studying, I should just about be able to finish these books. Well, there's always coffee if I feel sleepy, and I have some candy on hand just in case I ever feel low on energy. No, it won't. I've made sure to allocate time for training, too. After all, combat is also assessed as part of the examination. <sighs> <sighs> Did I get too worked up all of a sudden? My vision seems a bit blurry. No. I still have training tomorrow. I must freshen up. <sighs> I apologize for letting you see me in such bad shape. I'm okay now. Ooh, but every time I think of the exam, I get so nervous. Only studying or training helps to relieve it a little. But in the end... I keep finding new ways in which I'm not prepared. And that makes me even more nervous. You mean a change of location? Hmm. Yes, staying in the Knight's headquarters and in the library all the time does tend to make me feel as if I always have to be studying. But where else could I go? The Cat's Tail? Or the Angel's Share? Or perhaps somewhere away from the city? Star Snatch Cliff or Windrise. I could even make some muffins, grab some napkins, and make a picnic out of it. Hmm. But would that just waste too much time? A trip? To Leoa? Oh, I couldn't possibly justify that. In the time it would take to get to Leoa and back, I could have finished several of my books. Hmm. You really think I shouldn't limit myself to Mondstadt? Maybe you're right. Mondstadt is symbolized by the wind. But my vision is a Geo one. Maybe visiting the nation built by the Geo Archon could help me learn something new. Hmm. Very well then. If it's just a quick visit. <laughs> I can't believe I've really come. 
come all the way to Lyra. Wow! The architecture here is so unique, and there are so many people around. But somehow, I feel like I'm constantly being watched. No, please don't make fun of me. Oh, you shouldn't make jokes like that in public. People may hear you and get the wrong idea. Huh, how strange. Back in Mondstadt, I never feel shy around strangers. But over here, I feel so tense. It's probably because I'm in a completely different environment. I don't know how I should act to make sure I don't make a fool of myself. And speaking of, I heard that it's customary to eat with chopsticks in Liyue. Back in Mondstadt, I have previously provided chopsticks to visitors from Liyue, but I've never used them myself. Oh, I hope I won't become a laughingstock. Huh? Oh, I... I was just thinking aloud. Don't worry about it. My time here in Liyue is precious. I should make good use of it to study. What? Could that really come up in the exam? Wait, you're right. Maybe it will. Huh. Then, okay. Let's start by learning about the local cuisine. Do you have any suggestions? Okay. If it comes recommended by you, I'm excited to find out what kind of food it is. If it isn't the Traveler, what would you like to order today? One Min Restaurant will cook it just how you like it. Oh, is this a new customer you've brought with you? Based on Madame's attire, it would appear that even a Knight of Favonius will travel all the way to Liyue just to try One Min Restaurant's cooking. Knight of Favonius? Oh, I I'm not... <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. You must be in Liyue on official business. But anyway, while you're here in Liyue, I can confidently say that you won't regret stopping by Wanmin Restaurant to try our tasty dishes. That—that's not what I meant. Not what you meant? Oh, I see. I suppose you must be looking for Liuli Pavilion or Sinue Kiosk. <sighs> Most first-time visitors have only heard of these two places. I just didn't expect the Knights of Favonius to be the same way. What—what what I meant was. I am not an official Knight of Favonius. I'm just a knight in training, currently serving as a maid. Goodness. They really distinguish between knights to that degree? Well, anyway, as long as you dine at Wan Min Restaurant, rest assured you will leave here a satisfied customer. Since this is your first time in Liyue, perhaps you're not used to chopsticks yet. If so, might I recommend the grilled tigerfish. Fresh, fragrant, and easy to eat. If I tone down the spice a little, <laughs> it should be perfect for the Mondstadt palate. Wanna try it? Um, I want to learn about the Liyue diet. Adjusting the dish to accommodate what I'm used to seems to defeat the purpose of coming here. Oh, you want to try something with more of a local flavor. Well, in that case, you've got to try our signature dish, Black Back Perch Stew. The only thing is, you can't really eat it without using chopsticks. And the level of spice is not for everyone. I pour oil into a hot pan, throw in a big handful of Joyun chilies, and stir-fry them to release the flavor. Then, I sprinkle in some powdered violet grass to enhance the spiciness. Phew! I can already feel the spiciness just by listening to your description. Will I be able to handle it? But if I give up so soon, how can I learn to overcome future obstacles? Hmm, <laughs> it's just a harmless bit of chili pepper. I, I can take it. Chef Mao, I will go with your recommendation. <laughs> Great. Please have a seat. One black back perch stew coming right up. <coughs> oh, so spicy. I can't even hold my chopstick steadily. <clears throat> oh, I'm... I'm fine. It's certainly very spicy, but once you get over that... Oh, it's quite delicious. 
What surprised me is how the freshness of the fish still shines through, despite how heavily seasoned the dish is. Hmm. The next time I entertain guests from Liyue, I wonder if I'll be able to prepare such delicious food for them. Really? Then let me bake some muffins for you when we get back. Wow, you've already finished? How do you feel? Even locals rarely finish the dish so quickly. Oh, it was very good. Thank you, Chef Mao. Ah, you're very welcome. Seeing customers satisfied is my greatest pleasure. But, I must say, I really didn't expect you to drink the soup. It's so spicy that most people here in Liyue can't even handle it. The soup? We, we weren't supposed to drink it? Oh, um, yes. Let's. <sighs> Next time I eat in Liyue, I'll be sure to check how each dish is meant to be consumed first. Oh, that sounds like ironwork going on over there. Is it a blacksmith? From the kind of weapons made here, I should be able to learn something about the local combat style. Will you come with me to the blacksmith so I can take a look? Oh, great! It's almost like you're the host and I'm your guest. As a maid, I can't help but feel a little guilty. at these weapons, I can tell they have great power. Well, this is the nation built by the Geo Archon, after all. Well, I wonder how Favonius blade work could be applied to these weapons, and what kind of modifications would be needed. Yes, and even though I'm just thinking through problems as I always do, I don't feel as nervous as I did when I was in Mondstadt. Hey! You over there! What are you doing? Huh? What's wrong, little boy? Huh, who are you calling little boy? I'm a mighty warrior. I see you with your strange attire, acting all mysterious, loitering around the ironmongers. Yeah, you're up to no good. I, I'm not up to anything. Huh, you can't hide it from me. I see the way you look at those weapons. Same way I look at them, too. You must be planning to sneak over and steal a couple of blades when the man's not looking, huh? Well, I'm warning you. Quit while you're ahead. Stop before you do something you'll regret. Cause if you get caught, uh, that man is gonna yell at you. Honorary Knight, please. I told you not to call me that. Knight of Favonius? Huh, then she's no small fry after all. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I still don't think I can trust you, unless... Hmm, unless you show me your great sword and also your vision. Uh, that's not true. No great sword can outshine the mighty Dugu longsword. And one day, I'm gonna get my Geo Vision. So, uh, I'm not jealous. Who said anything about being jealous? Huh. The cat is out of the bag. Um, all right then, if you insist. Um, please be careful with them. Don't hurt yourself. You... you're really gonna let me have a look? Wow, you're so nice! Wow, that glow, it really is a geovision. And this sword is so heavy, uh, I can't hold it. Uh, it's not fair. If only I were a bit bigger. Be patient, you'll get there. Besides, I'm sure your dream will come true one day. Uh, hmm. It's clear to me now. You bear a geovision. You wield a greatsword. You're a nice person from Mondstadt. You must be a fabled knight of Favonius. Uh, huh? Huh. I must accept that the knights of Favonius of Mondstadt live up to their name. But I shall not concede defeat. As surely as the hills are green and the rivers flow into the sea, our paths will cross again. Wait, I... Oh, he's gone. 
Well, I do hope there are no further misunderstandings today. Children in Leoa have these dreams too. I never would have thought. When I was little, the other Mondstadt kids and I always used to imagine what kinds of visions we would have when we grew up. I hope that someday this boy's dreams will come true too. <sighs> anyway, what's next? Should we visit Leola's harbor or take a short break? Yes, there does seem to be a large number of Melaliths stationed at the harbor. It would be great if I can learn something from them. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. Wow, it's good to finally meet you two. Yes, word is that a knight of Favonius has appeared in Liyue. That's why I came to have a look. I never expected that one of you would be the honored guest of the Chi Sing, and the other one must be the rumored knight of Favonius. Oh, uh, sorry, I am not yet a knight. I see, I see. Uh, please excuse me for the misunderstanding. Allow me to introduce myself first. My name is Shaheen, a Millilith responsible for garrison and patrol duties. And I am Noel, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Of course, I am not yet an official knight. Uh, understood. Allow me to apologize on behalf of all the residents of this area for the misunderstanding earlier. Oh, it's no big deal. More importantly, is there a reason why you were looking for a Knight of Favonius? May I be of any assistance? Well, let me fill you in. I just received some intel that a group of treasure hoarders, originally from Mondstadt, has shown up in this area recently. According to the intel, they've set up camp near Stonegate. If we act too rashly and let them escape back to Mondstadt, then it'll be difficult for the Millilith to continue pursuing them. That's why I was hoping the Knight of Favonius could join me in the arrest, so we could act as each other's witnesses. But it seems like this is easier said than done. I'm sorry. Oh, if only I could have passed this selection exam earlier. Uh, if I submitted an official request for assistance to the Knights of Favonius, all I would achieve is to buy the treasure hoarders time to plan their escape. Might I ask if there are any other Knights of Favonius in Leo Harbor at present? Hmm... Any other knights in Liyue? Oh! Of course! If it's a knight you need, well, there's one right here. An honored guest of the Chi Sing and an honorary knight, too? Well, if someone who's independently a hero in two different nations is willing to lend me a hand, I can't exactly do better than that. It's just that I feel a little ashamed calling on a hero who defeats ancient gods to assist with something so trivial. Wait, so, as well as Storm Terror, you defeated an ancient god, too? Then I am truly honored. Please excuse me while I catch up with my comrades stationed at Stonegate. I will confirm the details of the arrest with them. Whenever the two of you are ready, please come and find me there. Let's rendezvous shortly. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. Ah, <sighs> thank you both for your help. We've confirmed the location of the treasure hoarders and we will move out shortly. In case any of them slip through our grasp and try to escape to Mondstadt, we will need someone to guard this path. As I said earlier, it would not be appropriate for the Millilith to take action here, so I will have to rely on you two. Um, though I am not a Knight of Favonius yet, may I still help in some capacity? Oh. Uh, I only asked the honorary knight here to act as a witness. There are no specific restrictions over how the arrest is carried out. So please, there's no need to feel apprehensive about your involvement. If that's the case, I... I shall be glad to help to the fullest extent that I am able. Then I will meet up with my comrades first. If the treasure hoarders try to escape, they will have to pass through here. 
So I am counting on you two. not have been able to participate. As expected, compared to the honorary knight, I still have a long way to go. But I still want to do everything within my ability to share the load. As you wish. Then leave it all to me. Oh, they're coming already. I'm facing them alone. Do I have what it takes? Done. <gasps> Time to clean up. Uh, 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 the wrong Finally. test subject. Done. I did it. I actually did it. No. It's all because of your encouragement. Otherwise, I... Oh. Thank you. We've successfully detained all the treasure hoarders who tried to escape through here. We've double-checked the numbers against the intel we were given, and it looks like none of them escaped. Small wonder that you are the honored guest of the Chi Sing and Mondstadt's honorary knight. Oh, it was Miss Noel who defeated the treasure hoarders. Thank you so much! Oh, you're... you're quite welcome. To be of help to you, sir, and to the Millilith, it is my great honor. You are too humble. I hear from the merchants that the Knights of Favonius of Mondstadt are both highly skilled and only too willing to rescue people in the direst of situations. With the skills and integrity you've shown, it's no wonder that the residents of Chihu Rock mistook you for a real knight. Sadly, they are quite mistaken. I am still far from becoming a real knight. <laughs> then I sincerely look forward to seeing you in action in the future, after you do become a real knight. It's getting late. I should escort these treasure hoarders back. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. Hope to meet you both again. Goodbye, Mr. Shaheen. Oh, a real knight. How much longer until I become worthy of this title? Oh, you're right. Wow, the time flew by so quickly. Is it really time to go back already? Apologies. I know this is a lot to ask, but... But could you... Spend a little longer with me. I still have somewhere that I'd like to visit. for the Knights of Favonius, so I wanted to come here and see what I can learn. Would you care to join me for some tea? <sighs> Leela's tea is certainly different from that of Mondstadt. Both the taste and the consistency are different, but the warm and soothing sense it brings me as I drink it, that feels the same. When I read about the Knights of Favonius and the Millilith in books, their rules and philosophy seem so different. But it seems the desire to protect one's own people is the same everywhere. Yes! Deep down, people everywhere are the same. <sighs> I don't think I'm so afraid of my exam anymore. I know I still have a long way to go compared to the honorary knight. Listening to your stories is like reading about myths and legends. But still... This motivates me to work harder and look forward even more to the day when it finally comes. The day that I can fight side by side with you as a knight. Oh, let's come back to Leo again after my exam is over.
could be applied to these weapons. Yes. And even though I'm just thinking through problems as I always... Hey! You over... Huh? Who are you calling... I, I'm not a... Huh. You can't... You must be planning to sneak... Yes, that's right. In any case, my weapon of choice is the greatsword. And I don't see any of those here. Greatsword, huh? Well, you got one thing right. The man refuses to show anyone his great sword in the store, no matter how many times you beg him. <laughs> Trust me, I would know. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I still don't think I can trust you, unless... Hmm, unless you show me your great sword and... Uh, that's not true! No great sword can... The cat is out of the bag. Um, please... You... You're really gonna let... Wow, that glo- uh, It's not fair. Be patient, you'll get the sides. I- Uh, <laughs> you must be a- uh, Huh? Huh. I'm as surely as the- Wait, I- Oh, he's gone. Children and Leo are happy when I was little. The other- Huh, <sighs> anyway. Yes, if we plan to explore further, let's take a short break first. Bungs Iron, here to set. <laughs> oh, you must be from Mondstadt. Looking at your outfit, you don't seem to be an ordinary civilian. In which case, surely... You must be an illustrious Knight of Favonius. Pardon my directness. My name is Iron Tong Tian, and I was hoping that you could help me out. Well, hold on. I'm really sorry. I am not yet an official knight, but just a maid of the Knights of Favonius. Uh, maid? Of the knights? A maid knight! Oh, now that is genuinely intriguing. Miss, if you're willing to help me out, I have every confidence that you will provide me with infinitely more source material than any other knight could. As you can see, I have been a local storyteller here for a long time, and, well, my audience is starting to tire of hearing the same old stories over and over again. When I saw this young lady show up just now, I was quite awestruck by her, so much so that I was suddenly inspired by the idea of writing a new book, A Night's Journey Through Liyue. However, inspiration is just the start. I still need some material to work with. Even the most ingenious storytellers don't just come up with stories out of thin air. I do occasionally hear anecdotes about the Knights of Favonius doing the rounds here in Liyue. But they're mostly unreliable rumors, with everyone telling a different story. Far better to find an actual knight and see for myself. But I... I am still not a knight yet. Ah, don't worry about all that. As the saying goes, the story should be inspired by life, but larger than life. As the storyteller, I can change a detail or two here and add some dramatic effect there, you know. Honorary Knight, I'm a little conflicted. What should I do? Although I should always lend a hand to anyone in need, it would be dishonest for me to pretend to be a real knight. <laughs> you understand me. Miss, rest assured that I will not put you in a difficult spot. 
All I'm asking you to do is to come with me to the countryside and show me some of your blade work. Let me see something new. I'll fill in all the other details, all within reason, of course. <laughs> well, okay then. If it's just providing some initial source material. I heard earlier from the Millilith that some hilly churls have been wreaking havoc in the countryside. Ooh, let's head over there. This looks to be the place. Ah, but it seems our timing is off. The hilly churls are nowhere to be seen. Oh, if the hilly churls are not around, does that mean you can't get any source material? Not necessarily. Look at all the things they left here. Miss, why don't you use your great sword to clean the place up? Cleaning up? Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. But the hilly churls could return at any moment. Mr. Tian, please find a safe location from which to observe. Okay. The knight's meticulous mind attended to each and every detail of her duty with the utmost care and attention. <laughs> this is good. I can work with this very nightly. Oh, you're... You're taking notes already? Cleaning up a camp. I guess I do this kind of thing all the time. So it should be okay to include in your book. I'll call this one the Indomitable Sword of Favonius. Sensational. I will call that one the Impregnable Shield of Chivalry. Mmm, yes. It's coming to me now. With the prescience of a prophet, the knight foresaw the precise moment of the hilly churl's return and promptly warned the commoners to take cover. Now she stood alone as she drew her sword and strode forward to confront the enemy. Oh, this is all great material. Oh, it's just a pity that the only enemies are these hilly churls. Hmm, it needs a little more oomph. I've got it. Uh, would the two of you be able to give me some kind of mementos? Mementos? That's right, mementos. Though the story is a work of fiction, the more real it feels, the more engaging it will be. Some sort of battle trophy to display before the audience? Ooh, would really seal the deal. Okay, um, so something like a hilly churl mask or an arrowhead? If it's all the same to you, uh, I was thinking more along the lines of, well, maybe a component from that ruin god. Yes, you've got it. You really understand where I'm coming from. I've heard that there's a very common component in Ruin Guards called the, uh, Chaos Device? 
I, I should write down my new ideas before I forget them. Um, just hand the chaos device to me once you've managed to obtain it. If you could hand me that chaos device once you've managed to procure it, I'd be much obliged. Oh, such mighty power, so battered and bruised. Mm, <laughs> I just need to embellish it a little further and this will be perfect. Embellish it? Even further? Hmm. Well, as long as I have been able to help you with your creative process... Of course you have. Okay, I know where I'm going with this story now. Uh, I need to get back and start writing. Oh, and if the two of you have any free time later, uh, stop by Third Round Knockout and you can hear me tell my new story. Oh, I wonder how Mr. Tian's story will turn out in the end. For some reason, I have a bad feeling about it. Why don't we go back to Leoa Harbor and listen for ourselves? With a roar like thunder, iron clashed with iron, then Four gigantic fists came pounding into the ground with a force beyond what could be put into words. So colossal was their weight, and so earth-shattering their impact. Such unthinkable power could easily cleave a stone peak right off the top of a mountain. Any ordinary human would either be torn to pieces in an instant, or at the very least, suffer indescribable injuries. But not so the knight from beyond the border. She did not flinch in the face of the flying iron fists, but sank instead into a low, fighting stance. And with one swift sweep of her sword, the clash of metal erupted once more as dust billowed all around. Moments later, there was a deep and dull thud as the dust dispersed to reveal Two pairs of iron claws lying lifeless on the ground. Such is the awesome power of the impregnable shield of chivalry, an esoteric martial technique practiced exclusively by the Knights of Mondstadt. The knight barely had time to catch her breath before a dark shadow leaped up before her into the sky, blotting out the sun and turning day into night. It was a ruin hunter. But she was no ordinary knight, and in her heart she declared, I have nothing to fear. With an almighty battle cry, she unleashed the indomitable sword of Favonius. Beams of golden light shone out in all directions. A gust of wind raced through the battlefield. Sparks flew and debris fell. One night against two ruin guards and a ruin hunter? <laughs> Surely that must be an exaggeration. Uh, I suppose these stories are supposed to be taken with a grain of salt. <gasps> Is this about me? What is he talking about? Oh no, this won't do. I must ask him to rewrite the story. <laughs> Hard to believe? Then feast your eyes on this. This is solid proof of the Maid Knight's journey to Liyue. A fragment of a ruined god's armor, cut from its carcass by a blow of her blade in the midst of her death-defying battle. That is part of a ruined guard. A friend of a friend of a relative in the middle of told me about these. Whoa. Uh, it, oh, it's real, all right. Look at the cuts on it. Fresh from the battlefield. I, I must explain to Mr. Tien. Honesty, modesty. These are the virtues cherished by the knights. Hey, will you look at that? That girl over there looks uncannily similar to the knight from the story. Oh, I'd say more than just similar. She's the spitting image. 
Oh, oh, should we get an autograph? Oh, it's definitely her. The legendary Maid Knight. Uh, huh? Oh, okay. And so, the knight went west from Stone Gate with her sword in hand and scaled the mountains of a vast new land. A legend from the moment she set foot in Liyue. Tales of the adventures of the Maid Knight would be talked about for hundreds of generations. Stay tuned for the next chapter. Everyone is working. Super hard. We should be too. on chivalry. So much to learn before the exam. Oh! On... I don't? Oh, I'm sorry to make you worry on my account. I've been busy preparing for my exam. Other than for work and training, I've barely left the library. The exam is drawing nearer and nearer, but there just seem... Right. The nights, even though I've already worked, it's just that I've failed several times in the past. I still don't know if I can make it this time. Study, buddy. No, I... That won't be necessary. This is my exam, and I'm taking it to fulfill my dream. Any obstacles I face are mine to overcome. Plus, there is still some time to go before the exam arrives. Well, you're the honorary knight of Mondstadt. It won't do for me to take up so much of your time. But, on the day of the exam, if... If you happen to be... F um, based on the night's schedule, I think it should be... But it's just half a year. Don't you think that's quite soon? Even though there is still some time, if I don't make good use... I've planned my schedule carefully. Well, there's always coffee if I feel sleepy. No, it won't. I've made sure... Did I get too worked up all... No. <sighs> I apologize for letting you see me in such bad shape. I'm okay now. Mm. But every time I think of the exam, I get so nervous. Only studying or training helps to relieve it a little. But in the end, I keep finding new ways in which I'm not prepared. And that makes me even more nervous. Oh, you mean studying isn't the only preparation I should be doing? Oh, if I don't overcome my fear of the exam, I will just repeat the same mistakes over and over again. Whenever I encounter something unexpected, I can't think straight. And whenever I start worrying that I might fail again, my mind goes completely blank. Take some more exams? Would that really help me? Well, it's true that the more I study, the more unprepared I feel. It's inevitable that I'll run into something unexpected. But if I can simulate the atmosphere of an exam, then I can learn how to cope with it. But... Where would I even go to take one? The Adventurer's Guild? Now that you mention it, someone once invited me to join them. Well, since it's recommended by the Honorary Knight, then I have to give it a try.
Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. What kind of commission would you like to take on today? You wish to take an exam? Please wait while I verify your adventure record and the status of your recent commissions. Sorry, Miss Catherine. Actually, I am the one who wishes to take the exam. Oh, Noel. You are finally ready to join the Adventurers Guild? Wonderful. I will process your application at once. Uh, no, no. I just want to take an exam for the experience. Right now, I don't have any plan to become an adventurer. I'm sorry. I see. What a pity. Our exams are only available to official members of the guild. The content of each exam is determined based on the adventurer's individual experience and commission status. As such, I am unfortunately unable to arrange for you to have an exam. However, since you just want to experience what an exam is like, perhaps you can talk to Cyrus, the Branchmaster. As it happens, he has recently been working on a new entrance exam for the guild. It has not yet been approved for official use. Perhaps you could give it a trial run. Indeed. Although the entrance exam does have something to do with you joining the guild. You can ask Branchmaster Cyrus if you require more details. He should be at Angelshare right now drafting the syllabus. He said he gets more inspired when he's there. We don't yet know what's included in the syllabus. Others in the guild have produced several drafts, but all of them were rejected by Cyrus. It sounds as if I'll have a good chance of running into something unexpected. Yes, let's! Oh, I wonder what will be on the exam. Hunt down three ruin guards. Hmm. Could it be a little too difficult? Ah, what am I thinking? The newcomers will run a mile. Hunt down three boards in the forest. Nay, the guild will never approve that. Oh, it's you. And Noel, I see. Hello, Mr. Cyrus. Are you working on the exam syllabus? How is it coming along? Ah, uh, don't get me started. Since the Traveler solved the Storm Terror Crisis and became Mondstadt's hero, a whole load of young people got excited and decided to join the Adventurer's Guild. But most of them have no experience at all. They can't even handle a single slime without getting all battered and bruised in the process. So some genius in the Guild decided, why don't we make an entrance exam? Ugh. <sighs> Well, that sounds like a good idea, no? This way the adventurers won't get hurt so easily. Yes, but if the exam is too difficult, no one will want to join. A few scrapes and bruises is nothing a strong will can't compensate for. Why doesn't anyone else in the guild understand this? Anyway, I already rejected two drafts, and now I'm working on a third one myself. It's absolutely crucial that I get the difficulty level right. <sighs> if only someone could give it a test run. At least then I could decide where the upper limit of difficulty should be. Then, Mr. Cyrus, may I give it a try? I am very interested in... in experiencing the Adventurer's Entrance Exam. Oh? Noel, you mean... You want to take the Adventurer's Entrance Exam? Ha <laughs> ha! That's fantastic! Well, if it's you, Noel, even with every challenge at the highest difficulty, you shouldn't have any problem at all. Yes. Please make sure they are the most difficult. Excellent! That's the spirit of a true adventurer! Now, let me explain the rules of the exam. First, since adventurers often work in groups, you are welcome to invite others to assist you during the exam. If the Traveler is willing, please join Noel. Indeed. Second, there are three parts to the exam, which are basic knowledge, survival skills, 
and a combat exercise. You only need to pass two out of three parts to succeed in the exam. But of course, Noelle should find she has no trouble getting a perfect score. <clears throat> and finally, remember at all times that being an adventurer takes courage and resilience. Ad Astra Abyssosk! Ad... Ad Astra Abyssosk! Ha <laughs> ha! That's the spirit! Without further ado, let's start part one. Basic knowledge. A true adventurer must be well-versed in all sorts of relevant knowledge to handle whatever may come their way. I will ask you three questions. You may discuss among yourselves first before giving me an answer. Question one. An adventurer must be well acquainted with their environment to make sure they can obtain any resources they need. Tell me, which of the following local specialties of Mondstadt cannot be found near Wolvendom? Dandelion seeds, calla lilies, wind wheel asters, or small lampgrass? Hmm. Wolvendom? I remember reading that there are wolf hooks everywhere. But the book made no specific mention of any other plants. Hmm. No, I must approach this question differently. Is there anything here that requires specific environmental conditions in order to grow? Conditions that Wolvendom cannot provide? That's it! The Windwheel Aster mostly grows in Storm Terror's Lair, at Windrise, and near Statues of the Seven. All the others are much more widely found. Mr. Cyrus? Our answer is Windwheel Aster. Correct! <laughs> There's no fooling you two, eh? On to question two. An adventurer must always learn from their experience and keep track of everything they encounter in the form of a diary. There is a famous adventurer who once went exploring all over Liyue, documenting his whole journey. Thanks to the notes he took of each location that he went, Young adventurers are now able to plan ahead and avoid the dangers there. What is the name of this adventurer? Learning from experience, writing diaries... It seems like adventuring requires constant self-reflection, just like studying. Regarding this adventurer, I do believe I have read about him. He even made his mark on Dragonspine. Oh, yes, it must be him. Hmm... Oh, what was his name? That's it! It's rolled! Correct! I had thought this question would be a little more challenging to adventurers from Mondstadt. Once again, Noel, you never fail to impress. Last question. Let's have some fun with this one. The most terrifying domain for adventurers from Mondstadt. The infamous Windless Land. All that awaits you there is a sea of ashes and the deathly silence in the air. So, what is the name of this taboo territory? Hmm. A sea of ashes, a windless land. What could it be? Correct! <laughs> Keep this name in mind. Someday, you too will pass through this domain. <laughs> That's three for three. As expected, these questions were no match for you. But be warned, things start to get a little trickier in the survival skills test. Now, go and prepare yourselves. Meet me at Good Hunter when you think you're ready. Jules from Leo. Come take a look. <laughs> Let the show begin. Okay, let's begin part two of the entrance exam. Ready and willing, Mr. Cyrus. Staying well fed and making sure to prepare sufficient food supplies is a key survival skill for adventurers. That's why the second part of the exam is to prepare a food item fit for an emergency out in the wild. There are three criteria. Firstly, the ingredients must be easily accessible in the wilderness. Secondly, preparation and cooking must be quick and easy. Thirdly, well, 
The food item in question must be able to help someone in dire straits to bounce back from the brink and regain their strength. So go ahead, cook something full of passion and packed with flavor. Just bring it to me whenever it's ready. Noel, I await your dish with the greatest of anticipation. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm. Simple ingredients, easy to cook, helps you rally. Honorary Knight, do you have any idea? Steak. Good point. In a real emergency, all you'd need is a piece of meat. You wouldn't even need any seasoning. Okay then. Once it's ready, let's take it over to Mr. Cyrus. We can always change our minds if we have a better idea. One must be careful not to act too hastily when taking an exam. Oh, you're ready to go? Don't be too hasty now. You still have time to prepare. Use it wisely. Steak! Steak! Ha ha ha! Hands down the top choice of a true adventurer. Simple ingredients, highly nutritious, and most importantly, all you need to cook it is in open flame. Mmm. And when it's not an emergency, adding a bit of seasoning makes it even better. Succulent and juicy, crispy on the outside, and tender on the inside. The perfect accompaniment to an alcoholic beverage. Really? If you like it so much, I can always make a few more. <laughs> Not at all. I was merely contemplating having a celebratory libation on the well's behalf. In any case, congratulations on passing part two of the exam. Up next is the final stage. Go get yourself ready, then meet me at Bright Crown Canyon. <laughs> Ad Astra Abysosk, and welcome to the third and final part of your exam. Are you ready? Please, begin. <sighs> I am ready. Good. Now, the most important skill set for an adventurer is, of course, combat skills. Ferocious monsters, dangerous machines, only in the heat of battle against your enemy does that surge of adrenaline really kick in. This is the last part of the exam. Defeat the nearby Ruin Guard as quickly as you can. I will be watching from here. Give it all you've got, Noel. Okay. This time, I am confident I will pass. Dance. Boba, get them! Steady as stone. Wind blade! You're in for a little shock. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Eat <laughs> I must leave no stone. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Let's spark things up a little. You're in for a little shock. I feel a little weak. Come a little closer. Nice and spicy. Oh, in the end, I, I couldn't do it. My palms were sweating and my heart was racing. And I know that it's just like in training, but still, I always end up worrying I might fail. And in the end, I couldn't even solve the problem at hand. But if I can't.
can't perform well in an exam, what good is my ability? Oh, maybe I should train some more. <sighs> now I got stomach cramps. Oh, back already? Seems like... Hmm, maybe the difficulty level is too high after all. Now, please allow me to announce the results of your adventurer's entrance examination. You successfully passed the exam! Oh, and you were so close to getting a perfect score, it feels like a missed opportunity. But... If even Noel could not get the perfect score, then maybe I still need to adjust the difficulty level a little further. Yes, the barrier to entry must be lowered to cater to the newcomers. Then we can raise the difficulty at a later stage. Only in this way can we successfully attract newcomers. I... I didn't get a perfect score? Hey now, first things first. Allow me to congratulate you on what was nevertheless a sterling performance in your exam. I will have Catherine handle the admission process for you right away. Uh, Noel? Where did I go wrong? Is there any hope for me to improve? If I could start over... Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Cyrus, what were you saying just now? I was a little lost in my own thoughts. Uh, I was about to ask whether you would have the time to visit the guild with me. I do apologize, Mr. Cyrus. I must get back to my exam preparation. If I don't review my mistakes, I will only repeat them the next time I run into the same problem. It seems I still have lots to learn. I will head back to the library now and continue studying. Noel, you... you already passed your exam. What do you need to study for? Sure, you made a few mistakes, but this is an overreaction. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Well, when you get back, would you mind going to the library and checking on the well? I hope my exam hasn't affected her mood. How can I get the exam to the right difficulty level? Hmm. I should go back to the Angel's share and give this some careful consideration over an alcoholic beverage. Mustn't fall asleep. Oh, sorry, I zoned out a little. I didn't notice you there. I've summarized my experiences from the mock exam and created a new reading list. Getting to know Mondstadt's geography and a one-minute history of adventuring in Mondstadt. Oh, there's so much I can learn from them. And then there's eating well in Mondstadt. I never realized there were so many ways to cook in the wild. Oh, and also... Self-defense, the art of down-to-earth dialogue with monsters. The combat approach of adventurers is definitely worth further study. The only thing is, there's so much to get through. Will I really be able to finish them all? But, but, what if this is the one time they do come up? What then? What if they ask me how to rescue an adventurer? Or how best to collaborate with the Adventurer's Guild? If I neglect these topics now, I may live to regret it later. <sighs> it looks like every second I have between now and my exam is going to count.
Hunt down three ruin guards. That's it. The That's it. It's ru Correct. <laughs> That's three for Okay, let's begin part- Ready and willing, Mr. Cyrus. Steak. Good po- Oh, you're ready to go? Don't be too haste. Steak. Astra Abbey. Leave it all to me. Let the show begin. Dodge this. Cool it. Get frostbite. Boba, get them. Dodge this. Ah. Steady as stone. Ah. and I can't control it. I know that it's just like in training, but I always end up worrying I might fail. But not this time. This time, it seems I was able to remain calm. Somehow, having you by my side is... soothing. It must be because you are here with me that I was able to complete the exam. Thank you. Thank you. On the day of the real exam, if, and I mean only if, great, oh maybe, just maybe, things will be different this time. Already? Seems like... Even the third part of the exam is a walk in the park for you! Now, please allow me to announce the results of your adventurer's entrance examination. You passed with a perfect score! Noel, you are incredible as always! Oh well, it's all because I had an honorary knight by my side. Without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to officially grant you the title of Adventurer! May your days ahead be filled with adventure, and may you boldly explore the stars above and the abyss below. Ad Astra Abyssosk! Ha 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 My, my. I never thought I'd see the day when Noel would finally come around to the idea of joining the Adventurer's Guild. 
Oh, oh, Mr. Cyrus, I, I'm terribly sorry, but uh, actually, I... Ah, uh, uh, there's no need to talk like an outsider anymore. From now on, you can call me Branch Master, and I will call you Adventurer. I'm very sorry, but I actually wasn't planning to join the Adventurer's Guild at all. I just wanted to take an exam, so I could get used to the atmosphere. I thought it might help me better prepare for the Knights of Avonius selection exam. Ah? Uh, you mean... Oh, how can this be? I was just about to recommend you to the perfect adventure team. Why not give it some more thought? Even if you're not ready to be a full-time adventurer, you'd be more than welcome to help out every now and then. Just think of it as... Uh, ah, yes, think of it as part of your exam preparation. You know, if you think about it, adventurers have a lot in common with the knights. Both want to defend Mondstadt. Exam preparation? Defend Mondstadt? Yes, precisely. I assure you it won't take up too much of your time. I believe it's only around four commissions per day. Four commissions? Hmm. Maybe if I can squeeze out some time from my breaks. Oh, if I'm not careful, the urge to accommodate just takes over. I'm sorry, Mr. Cyrus, but I'm afraid that my answer is still... Please, Noel! I'm begging you! We need your help! Oh, uh... Well, if my assistance is required... Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, Mr. Cyrus. Maybe next time. on chivalry. Favonius Bladework Fundamentals. <sighs> so much to learn before the exam. Oh! Honorary Knight! I don't? <sighs> oh! You mean... Imagine myself passing the exam. Hmm... What kind of knight? I, I always thought that just qualifying to be a knight was challenging enough to begin with. The knight that I want to be someday... Oh, that feels so far away that it's a little difficult to imagine. An outrider? I'm sure Amber would be happy to see the outriders grow as a team. But my strengths are not in scouting and luring the enemy. And I'm not as agile as Amber. Hmm, I don't know if I would be of any assistance to her. <gasps> However, I did once get Amber to teach me how to make Baron Bunnies. If I were to use Baron Bunny to lure the enemy away and protect my fellow knights, I suppose I could do it. Hmm, I still have some of the materials we used when she taught me. There's just a few extra things I'd need. Making the stuffing requires pyroslime condensate, and the red dye used to grab the enemy's attention can be made from crushed valberries. It's just that dried valberries are not very suitable for making dye. I'll need to get some fresh ones from the Stormbearer Mountains. So, let's start by going to the Stormbearer Mountains. <laughs> Oh. 
of bowberries. Oh, pyro slimes. Perfect. They can provide us with another ingredient we need. Freeze. Pyro slime condensate? Crushed bowberries? Good. Oh, now I can start to make a baron bunny. Mm-hmm. Through here, conceal the stitch, done. Far from it. I know it looks the part on the outside, but I still don't know if it will really work. There should be a hilly drill camp nearby. Let's place the Baron Bunny there and try it out. gets their attention. What's going on? They're completely ignoring the Baron Bunny. They're coming this way. Watch out! You're in for a little shock. Freeze! Surrender and be... Dodge this! Let the show begin. Freeze! Ha! Ha, cool it! Ha! 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 Oh... It neither attracted their attention nor exploded. In the end, all I managed to recreate was the outward appearance. I suppose the conclusion is... I can't become an outrider like Amber. Oh, maybe I'm not yet ready to carry out the work of a fully qualified knight. But I just can't think of what else I could do. Every time I've looked forward to passing the exam, I always ended up disappointed in the end. Whenever I remember that feeling of disappointment, I stop being able to think about what kind of knight I could become. Master Jean? How could I ever become someone great like her? Master Jean is a pillar of the Knights of Favonius, and a great source of inspiration to me. If I could gain even one or two of her qualities, I would be very happy. But the thought of becoming a knight just like her in every way? Oh, I could never achieve that. You think so? I suppose if the goal is set so high that I couldn't hope to achieve it immediately, I won't be too disappointed day to day. But where to start? I can't imagine what I would need to do to become more like Master Jean. Oh, that's true. Master Jean is always lending a hand to citizens in need. So strong, but so gentle too. I still don't think I can do what Master Jean does. But at least I could start by trying to be gentle like her. Okay, then let's head back to Mondstadt and see if anyone needs help. What's the hurry? I'm sorry, Marjorie. I was focused solely on chatting with Quinn. I didn't see anything else at all. If you're out of other options, maybe you could get help from the Knights? I'm sure if Master Jean heard about it, she'd help you find it in no time. 
Thanks. I'll check with a few more people first. If no one has seen it, then I guess I'll just have to ask the knights. Alright, well, I hope it turns up soon. Bye now. <sighs> Maybe I should just tell the knights already. Miss Marjorie, are you in need of assistance? Oh, Noelle. Since you asked, I seem to have misplaced a monocle that I imported from Sumeru. I was organizing the stock that had just arrived, and because the monocle was so fragile, I took it out, wiped it, and put it aside. But then, I went to get it after I was done with the stock, and it was gone. I've asked around, but no one seems to have any idea where it could be. Anything like this? Well, it's not completely unheard of. You know my store, there are all sorts of exotic items. In the past, I've lost a carved wooden perch and some boneware, but as soon as I reported them missing to the knights, they were recovered right away. May I ask, where were the missing items recovered from? Oh, the wooden perch was mistaken for a real fish by Margaret's cat, and as for the boneware, they eventually found that in a dog kennel somewhere outside the city. Oh no, we mustn't increase Jean's workload any further. Master Jean's time should be spent on more important things. Miss Marjorie, would you mind letting me help you find the missing monocle? I may not be as efficient as Master Jean, but I will do my very best to help you find it. Oh, of course that's okay. But isn't asking Noelle the same thing as asking the knights? Ah, uh, I'd better gather some more information before heading out. As well as confirming some details regarding the monocle itself, we should find out as much as possible from Marjorie about the circumstances under which it went missing. So, do you have some ideas on where to start? Ask me whatever you want to know. I'll answer to the best of my memory. A missing item. Well, it's a monocle to start with. And since it came from Sumeru, the design should be fairly recognizable. As for other distinguishing features, it's very light and it's very small. Hmm. I had my head down and I was busy working through the stock. I didn't see anything that was going on around me. But the street is so busy that surely someone would have noticed if it had been stolen. Oh! Now that you mention it, I do remember hearing some kind of... flapping sound. The sound went as soon as it came, and I was focused on checking if anyone had seen anything, so I didn't give it too much thought at the time. Do you think it could be connected? Hmm... I first heard it behind me, and then it seemed to fade out in a northwesterly direction. Now I wish I'd followed the sound and spoken to people along the way. Honorary Knight, shall we go ahead in that direction and make some inquiries? Maybe we'll find some clues. What's the hurry? A missing monocle and a flapping sound? First I've heard of anything like that. A flapping sound? Sorry, I wasn't on patrol nearby at the time of the incident. But if you need any backup, please send for me at any time. Glory, have you heard anything that might be described as a flapping sound in this area recently? Marjorie's monocle has gone missing from her shop. We're trying to look for clues. Um, flapping sound? Yes, I think so. I believe it was the sound of a finch flapping its wings. It sounded a lot heavier today than usual, as if it was carrying something. So, 
Maybe the finch took the monocle back to its nest. Oh, I've seen their nests in the past on occasion, while I'm cleaning the roof. What do you say we have a look, Traveler? Finally, we have a lead to go on. Thank you, Glory. You're welcome. May you swiftly recover the lost item by the grace of the Animo Archon. No, it doesn't seem to be here. <gasps> we found it! This must be Miss Marjorie's missing monocle. Let's take it back to her right away. I hope we haven't kept her waiting too long. Marjorie? Here! We found your monocle! Wow, you were so quick! How wonderful! I thought I wouldn't be hearing back for a few days yet. Sure. In the past when I've lost something and asked the knights for help, it can take them a while to get around to it. After all, the knights have all sorts of things that they're busy with, big and small. No matter how capable Jean might be, she can't be in two places at once, can she? Thanks to you, Noel, we don't have to trouble the knights with every little thing that comes up. <laughs> now that I think about it, Noel is basically like another Jean. In that sense, it really does feel like Jean can be in two places at once. No, surely you can't be serious. How can I compare to Master Jean? I can only help people with small things, like finding lost property. <laughs> Whether it's big or small, it's all the same to us. Things we can't handle by ourselves. Noelle, once you've qualified as an official knight, will that mean you don't have time to help us anymore? I, for one, am going to miss you. No, not at all. If I do become a knight in the future, I will continue to help everyone with their problems. <laughs> I was just kidding. Keep up the good work, Noelle. I'm sure everyone in Mondstadt can't wait to see the kind of knight you become. I... I will keep working hard. Thanks again. <sighs> I suppose I should put this in a secure place this time. The kind of night that I become. <sighs> oh, do, do I? Um, yes. Maybe it's because I'm not afraid anymore. I've never dared to imagine myself as a knight before. I always feared that the higher my expectations, the more disappointed I'll be if I don't live up to them. But let's say I do become a knight in the future. Maybe... maybe I will simply continue to do the same things that I'm doing right now. It doesn't matter to me how small these things are or how tiring. I do these things not because I'm a maid, but because of my own will. Yes. There's no need to become someone else, nor worry about failing. As long as I perform better in my next exam than in my previous one, then one day, I will become a knight that I can be proud of. Today's recommendation is the steak. of bellberries. Oh, pyro slimes. Perfect. They can provide us with another ingredient we need. Pyro slime condensate? Crushed Hilly 
Bunny trails are coming back. Let's see if the Baron Bunny gets their attention. What's going on? They're completely ignoring the Baron Bunny. They're coming this way. Watch out! Hey, come a little closer. <laughs> nor exploded. I suppose the conclusion is... C Captain Kaya? Oh, no, I could never manage that. Captain Kaya has his own way of thinking and planning. Well, sometimes I can barely understand it. And as for imitating it, oh, I simply wouldn't know where to begin. Oh, so you mean I should focus on smaller steps in order to achieve a larger goal? Well, I suppose with smaller goals, I won't be disappointed day to day. Since the larger goal is so high, I couldn't hope to achieve it immediately. In which case... Hmm... Captain Kaya seems to be in the habit of fishing for information at Angel's Share. That's pretty small, and yet... I heard that the reason we were able to arrest those treasure hoarders last time was thanks to Captain Kaya's intel. All right. I hope I can find some intel that proves useful to Mondstadt. Oh, it's the honorary knight in Noel. Can I get you a drink? A non-alcoholic drink, of course. Oh, no need. We didn't come here to drink. I wanted to ask if, um, if there's been anyone causing any trouble in the tavern lately. Troublemakers? Hmm. Let me think. Actually, there was one. Oh, really? It's that guy drinking at the table over there. Pain. He keeps ordering refills of our strongest drink, Death Afternoon. Look how he's wobbling. If he passes out drunk, that could spell trouble. Yes, that certainly sounds like a lot of trouble, although that's not quite what I was asking about. Um, is there anything in the tavern that has been out of the ordinary lately? Out of the ordinary? Hmm, let me think. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. There are still some empty glasses on the tables upstairs that need clearing away. Must have been left there by the customers this morning. But I am busy with the accounts at the moment. And if I can't find time to clear the tables before the evening crowd arrives, things could get difficult. Really? Well, that sounds truly terrible. Maybe I can help? Oh, sorry. I couldn't help myself. Ahem. <clears throat> Mr. Charles. What I was really trying to ask was... Oh, I know. You wanted to know if you could help out, right? Surely that would be asking too much. I have yet to thank you properly for helping us move those kegs last time. And here you are offering to help again. I couldn't accept your offer in good conscience. Uh... That being said, we are quite overwhelmed right now. So if it's all the same to you, ma'am, uh, would you mind serving the customers for a while? Um... <laughs> Um... Oh, okay then. I it seems you are in great need of assistance. Oh, thanks a million. I'll leave you to serve the customers then. Start by taking this death afternoon to pain, and then maybe you can clear the tables on the second floor? Thanks. I'll leave the tavern in your capable hands. Wow. So this is what happens when I try to go with the flow. It appears that Captain Kaya's way with words does not come the most naturally to me. But... 
But waitressing in the tavern should be a good means of gathering intel, right? It's quite a common motif in the books I've read. I just need to keep my eyes and ears open while I'm helping Charles with the tavern duties. Excuse me, Payne. Here is the drink you ordered. <laughs> what? What's that? Oh, yeah, put it to the side. I think I need to sober up. <sighs> this drink is strong. <laughs> Oh, I don't feel so good. Mr. Payne, are you all right? Do you need to take a rest? Hmm, let me think. If I'm not mistaken, Captain Kaya would first get his subject drunk before asking them any questions. This appears to be true. We must find another approach. Hmm. Captain Kaya would probably appear cordial and sincere as a means to convince his subject to lower their guard, would he not? One must start by focusing on the person's individual circumstances and communicate a complete willingness to help, then slowly move the conversation in the desired direction. Ooh, but how can I offer to help Mr. Payne right here and now? <gasps> I've got it! Perhaps the dried fruits that I prepared for my exam could help him to sober up. Ahem. <clears throat> Mr. Payne? Uh, please eat this. It will make you feel better. Oh, what's this? Oh, it tastes sweet and sour. Mm. Ooh, woof. I, I do feel slightly better now. Oh, you're uh, Noel, isn't it? And next to you is, uh... Uh, Mr. Payne? Are you feeling any better? Is there anything you wish to tell me? Next to you is... Uh, ah! It's the deaf afternoon that I order. Yes! <laughs> Did you bring this to my table? Oh, thanks, Noel. <laughs> this drink. This drink is so strong. Mr. Payne? Mr. Payne? How can this be? Drinking like this is disastrous for one's health. Hmm, perhaps. Although, maybe it would be easier if there were a few more customers. Uh. Oh, Mr. Charles also asked me to clear the tables on the second floor. If the second floor is filled with customers, Perhaps I'll have the opportunity to overhear a thing or two. Oh, it's such a mess. I must clear everything away quickly so that we can serve... Ooh, so many stains. Oh, once the tables are clear, they'll need to be washed with a good detergent. We're almost done. Oh, a clean and tidy environment always brightens my mood. Whew. Finally, all clear. Let's go check in with Charles. Mr. Charles, everything has been dealt with. Is there anything else you need help with? Wow, already? Uh, the customer at the table by the window just ordered a couple of things. Would you mind taking care of them? Okay, leave it all to me. Huh, with Noel here? The tavern feels livelier than ever. Phew. It's not easy working at a tavern. But at least it's over now. Well done to you, too. Oh, uh, Intel. No, I got so caught up with working that I completely forgot we were here to gather Intel. What should I do? There are hardly any customers left that I could talk to. Oh, am I so incapable of handling even a simple task like this? <sighs> Thanks for all your help today, Noel. I've been a bartender here for more than a decade, and I've never seen a happier crowd of drinkers than the ones who are here tonight. I can only assume that with you serving the customers, the wine tasted all the sweeter. I'm quite sure that can't be true. I didn't do anything particularly special. 
Customers don't come here purely for the drinks. They come for what the drink represents. Some time to relax after a long day of work. Often customers choose this tavern not just for the quality of the drinks we serve, but also for the great atmosphere. You may not have brewed the wine or even mixed the drinks, but for many customers, service with a smile is what makes the difference between a glass of wine and a great night out. It seems this tavern could do with more than just a single bartender. What we need is some proper waiting staff to really take care of the customers. Perhaps I could convince the boss to hire a server. Anyway, I digress. Thanks again for all your help tonight. Wow. I'm so glad to know I made everyone so happy. Yes. Even though I failed to imitate Captain Kaya, it looks like I was still able to help those in need. Yes. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. I sense that it's probably not the best moment. However, could I ask for one last little favor? Drinking to make merry is all well and good, but passing out drunk in my tavern? That's a pain. <sighs> pain ordered two more deaths after noon over the course of the night. <laughs>